hello welcome to my channel so today we're going to install this pump here this pump here this is the borehole right here over 100 meters deep yeah so this is the inverter over here it's a 1200 watt inverter um, these are panel panel connections the inputs from the panels so this inverter has a voltage limit of 1200 you can see 120 volts the maximum is 200 volts so you can connect panels in series then then uh, connect to this inverter over here that's when it will start this is the output to the pump the three phases I think you can see the three phases then this is to the, to the tank sensor and the borehole sensor the sensors are used when um, when the tank is full the the inverter automatically switches off the motor removes the output then when the water in the borehole goes below a certain level close to the pump the sensor shuts it shuts it down yeah so um, that's it so these are the connections we have to make to the to the pump and to the output depending on your connection the the motor will rotate in a certain direction for this case for for it to be able to pump water it needs to rotate in a clockwise direction so depending on the way you connect the phases to each other these three phases to these to the sources the the motor will rotate in a specific direction so it's more of like trial and error if you if you don't have a reference so when you try it out uh and it's rotating in a clockwise direction the water will come to pop it will create the pressure necessary for the pump to come but but in the anti-clockwise direction no no water will come so you need to change one of the phases interchange one of the phases to uh yeah one of the phases to the other yeah when, when you want to reverse the direction of the motor you interchange the phases interchange this for that and then this for this or interchange like this then you'll be able to reverse the current direction of the motor rotation yes so what i'm using is since this is going underground no in the water since this is going underwater uh, we need to use something that is waterproof for our case we use water seal mastic tape this is a this is a good one water doesn't get into the cable connections which can lead to other issues like uh, short circuits and stuff like that so yeah the the pump won't work if there's water within the cables so yeah this is what we use okay. so this is this is elastic a water tip Wrap it around very well. Need to put enough such that you don't come back. Eh? <laughs> This is a you need to cover all the insulation and everything with a, with a tape itself. Then on top of this, you need to cover also. This other cable you see here is the earthing, so we won't need that. Yeah, this other loose cable here is the earthing. So this is one way to do it. Oh, you can use other appliances like this one. Yeah, this one contains some some kind of some kind of gooey substance that hardens 
and there's no time that goes in with a plastic casing around, yeah. So now I'm going to connect the pipe and the ropes, then drop it into a bowl. So this is a stainless steel wire that we use for holding the holding the pump using the rope. Yeah, stainless steel because it goes into water. It can rust. And just fasten them using a waste pan. Tightly, yeah. So the pipe goes in here for the outlet. So the rope goes onto this to help hold the pump, and also it's easier to pull the pump out with the rope. So for the for the pipe, you have the seal over here in the covers. This goes in first. And then the clip goes in. Yeah. Like this. So you can close it. You can use wrenches to tighten it, to fasten it onto the, onto the pump. Yes. He's not trying to behave like that. Uh -huh. mm. He used to jump that. <laughs> it's okay. How deep is it supposed to go? Pipe of the tower. You can put the rope and the cable and the pipe together using cable ties. Yeah. Every one meter. Or well, at least a distance of 20 meters. Remember that sensor I was telling you about? This is the sensor to the, to the pump. Just a short distance, about 2 meters. Two meters to the to the pump so that when the water reaches to this level around here this senses that and then stops the inverter stops the pump from working then the tank over there also has one when the tank is full the switches off yeah we're going to drop the pump into the ball vertically let me see that yeah, so all of this has to go in. Yeah, so this is the inverter, switching it on. Just connect the panels right over here, then it will start. It will do a countdown for 30 seconds. Yeah. To countdown, checking all the components if they are 
okay so that it gives the output to the pump yeah uh, so it uh goes in frequency the higher the frequency the more water you get right there the more the sunlight the more frequency you will have it's f30 so the more the frequency the more the faster the motor rotates and the more water you get So that's that's it for me. For me, uh, if you like high quality water pumps, come to Greenpoint International, Bugolori. Yeah. So pump is working. It was just maintenance. Okay.